I thought you quit. Oh, these? No, these are mine. I think the circumstances allow. Gordon was telling me how you found me. Sounds like top drawer detective work. It was a team effort. Batman led the charge. It's not easy to say this, but it looks like you saved my life. I guess that puts me in your debt. Doesn't make you special, Waller. It certainly doesn't mean I like you. Jim, would you mind giving us a minute? Batman and I have some unfinished business. I'll go check on Joker's transfer, make sure they don't take any chances. Just try not to rip each other's heads off, okay? We can all play nice now that the bad guy's in cuffs. You don't have to worry. Our stalemate from the roof still stands. I'm pulling out of Gotham effective immediately. Then why are we still talking? Tiffany Fox. Riddler's death may have caused a lot of problems, but... I won't make her pay for it. I'll leave that to the man who can't stand killing. I know you think I'm the devil, but I want you to understand. I didn't want... I didn't see things going down like this. I let the mission get out from under me. Never really regained a solid footing. Watch out, Waller. Or you might stumble onto an actual apology. You let me talk, we might get there. I just came here to round up the pact. Quick and easy. And if Riddler led you to Sanctus, that would have been a bonus. Listen. Everything I did, I did for the greater good. To protect Gotham, to uphold the law, to make the world a safer place. Whatever your reasons, you went too far. You escalated things on the bridge. You got people killed. And coming after me? What were you thinking? You sided with that maniac. What was I supposed to do? Give you a medal? You act so high and mighty. At the end of the day, you're just a rich guy with all the toys beating up on lunatics. I deal with criminals who threaten my city. You're so far up your own ass, you can't see the truth. You're as nuts as any of them. Avesta had you pegged the minute she walked in your office. She started listing off your pals. All those friends of yours who went cuckoo. <laughs> Don't fool yourself, Waller. You are too. I know exactly what I am. I choose not to live in denial. We're done here. Signal the withdrawal. I'm not gonna miss her, that's for sure. So... Here we are, once again. Gotham's safe because of you. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, it felt pretty good getting my hands dirty. Just like old times, huh? Truth is, after I got ousted, I didn't know my place anymore. Turned into an old guy in civvies, lurking around crime scenes. We have to work together, Jim. Solve cases. Lock up the scum who terrorize our streets. I'd like that. So would I. Oh, uh, I gotta take this. Wife probably saw the news. <laughs> See you around, Batman. Don't be a stranger.
<sighs> Tiffany, we need to talk. Yeah, I figured. You're hurt. It's nothing. I saw you take much worse. Joker was going to cut Waller ear to ear. I had to create a distraction. It was certainly distracting. My confession. It took you by surprise, didn't it? I just couldn't keep it in anymore. You know I don't condone killing. Not even scum like Riddler. I've been dreading this moment. Especially since I learned who you are under that mask. I was afraid of what might happen if you found out. I guess I was hoping you never would. Why didn't you talk to me sooner? I... I wanted to work with you, to be part of your mission. But you kept this from me. A murder? I know. I'm sorry. I knew this would ruin everything. You were right. Riddler tore my family apart, Bruce. My mother hasn't left the house since the funeral. And Luke? He just lashes out. My father's death broke them. It broke all of us. I won't ask for forgiveness. But I hope you can understand why I had to do it. I just felt so powerless. Like my life was crumbling around me. Nothing justifies taking a life. Not even a need for revenge. I was hoping because we both loved my dad. You'd be more flexible. That's not how it works. So, where do we go from here? I suppose this puts me on your most wanted list. Rather than us working together. You need to face justice, Tiffany. I wish I didn't have to, but I'm turning you in. You do that to me? You'll get your day in court, just like any other criminal. That's what I thought you'd say. But like any other criminal, you'll have to catch me first. I was going to write a note, but I'm not a coward. At least I don't want to be. Not anymore. Then again, this won't be the first time I've found my courage in a single malt. Courage for what? Saying goodbye. I'm leaving, Bruce. It's time I went in search of better pastures. You just need rest, Alfred. Why don't you take a long vacation? Like we talked about. Some place in the sun, on the other side of the world from Gotham. I rather think this vacation will be permanent. But why? This war of ours is not what it was when we started. I no longer have the stomach for it. It's not sustainable. At least not for me. So... Take a back seat from the operations. Put your feet up for a while. Keep us stocked with cucumber sandwiches and tea. And just stand idly by while your enemies rend you limb from limb. Do a little dusting while you bleed out on the Batcave floor. I don't think so. Our mission used to be so clear. Catch the criminals, lock them up. But nothing is clear anymore. At least not to me. 
Now everything has become so gray. <laughs> gray? Talk to me, Alfred. We used John Doe, exploited his friendship to get you into the pact. We took advantage of someone you met in an asylum, for God's sake. Someone clearly challenged with a proven tendency to violence. Well, it worked, didn't it? In a manner of speaking. You empowered John Doe, kept him close when you should have put him away, inspired him to become something far more dangerous than he ever was. What's your point? Sometimes, it's as if Batman creates the evil he means to destroy. For all our good intentions, I fear we only make things worse. A dreadful thought, I know, but one that keeps me awake at night. Oh, please. There were plenty of criminals around before Batman showed up. I put most of them in jail. Two-Face, Cobblepot, Lady Arkham, Joker, all they have in common is you. Anyone who comes into contact with us suffers. Lucius is gone. Tiffany has blood on her hands. I foolishly thought bringing her in might make things better. As if her enthusiasm might remind us how things were in the beginning. We put her in danger on her first day, dodging machine guns at a crime scene. The lives we touch are touched by pain. Friends, colleagues, innocents. No one is spared. That's a price I'm willing to pay. In war, there are always casualties. But it doesn't mean you give up the fight. I've served in my share of wars, Bruce. More even than you. There are some fights you cannot win. One thing is for certain, my tremors are gone. <laughs> well, that's great news, Al. They stopped the minute I made the decision to go. I thought it was the kidnapping with Lady Arkham that caused them. Some kind of residual trauma. But I had it wrong. This sense of powerlessness I've been feeling, it came from something I saw in you. The tremors, the fainting spells, all of it. Do you really think I'm that bad? <sighs> no, no, I'm sorry, Bruce. That's not what I meant at all. Let me explain. Your father was driven by an obsession, by a need to control. He rushed headlong into the darkness, thinking himself invincible, oblivious to the cost. Just like you. Not like me. I chase that darkness away. And yet, history is repeating itself. I'm more certain of that with every passing day. Okay, maybe I am more like my father than I want to admit, but our paths are different. Can't you see? The paths may diverge, but they end in the same place. Face down in an alley, shot in the dark by criminals in some godforsaken corner of Gotham. I won't be witness to that. I won't bury you, too. I stood by and did nothing while Thomas destroyed himself, along with everything he loved. I enabled him, like I've been enabling you. Realizing this, I've never felt so helpless. I wanted things to be different for you, my boy. You deserved a better life than the one I gave you. I failed you, and for that I'm sorry. Alfred, I'm... <laughs> I'm nothing without you. You're my father. The best father anyone could have hope for. A good father wants his children to be happy and safe. Seeing how far you are from either, it's why I have to go. Well, I don't want to miss my flight. There's always traffic around the airport. You don't have to do it, Bruce. There are other ways of doing good in the world. But you, you pour everything into your bloody crusade. And I know you too well to hope you'll ever change.
You're Rhino. It's who I am. I will always be Batman. And that will never change. I know. Rubbish goes out on Tuesday, and there's lasagna in the freezer. I'm sure you'll manage. You got that look in your eye, the kind that says you're trouble. Thunderbolt? I'm the whole goddamn hurricane! Gotham's safety is slipping out from under me, and I can't stand it! I weighed my options, and what can I say? I don't like to lose. I won't let you down. hides in plain sight for that long, does he forget who he really is? We're two threads in the same stitch, bound together, even under strain. Visitor for John Doe. Bruce!